if I squint, I can kind of see who this is meant to be. She's just looking a bit oblong. Hey people, it's Temi. If you're new here and it's that time again, it's the end of the month, so I'm gonna get straight to it. Looking on the hashtag Terminators on Instagram. And okay, I'm gonna start with this one. Fantastic start to this portrait. I love the colors that I can see in the skin. I can see some of the purples, the pinks coming through on the shadow part of the face. And I just love that. Even the deepness in the shadows of the neck. I'm so here for it. I love the colors you've chosen in the hair. But for improvements, I'm glad you've got the reference next to it because it definitely makes this a lot easier. But you want to go even deeper with the shadows, especially the shadows around the face. The lighting in this reference picture is so harsh that some of the shadows that you've got next to her hair is not quite deep enough. You wanna go as deep as some of the shadows we can see in the neck area. Speaking about shadows, the exact same thing for the hair. So you've got some really nice oranges in the hair, but for the deeper shadows, I wanna see the dark, dark brown, the burgundies that will really give the hair form. And finally for the scarf, I think it just lets the piece down a little bit. You did actually achieve really nice shadows here, but I want you to pay more attention to the blend. The blend from the highlights mid-tone to the shadows just needs to be a little more seamless, but this is a fantastic start. Next, we've got this portrait of me and it's nice to critique a black and white piece once in a while. This is a drawing of my profile picture and you have captured the proportions perfectly. There's no doubt I can see the likeness here, the values you've got the deepest, darkest points and you've got the white highlights. So this is a great start. I think this is in pencils. So for improvements, I just want you to blend out the skin a little more. Just make it a little more seamless from the highlights to the mid-tones and really achieve some nice confident shadows in the face. So you definitely achieve it in the hair. You've got some of it in some details like the eyeliner, the lips, but for the face shading, I just want you to work on the blend. Okay, now this one, this is a fantastic start. I'm not sure what medium this is. It's definitely giving me a painterly kind of style, especially for the hair, but I love the colors that you've used. I think this turned out really nice. For improvements, especially compared right next to the reference, I want you to work on your proportions. I don't know what method you use and I have a video showing three different ways to improve your proportions, so I'll link it up above. But I think improving your proportions will be the first step to just level up this drawing. And then after that, it's what I say in all of my videos, for the skin itself, I don't want you to just use, you know, the skin tone color and a bit of peach, a bit of yellow. I want you to build some confidence in combining your colors, especially with your shadows. I can see for the clavicle, neck, what's this thing called? You kind of just have a brown that you've shaded up. I want you to go further with the skin. So for the shadows, I want to see the purples. I want to see the blues. And you've kind of started to achieve it in the eye area where you've got the crease and those colors that you put there. So just more confidence with all of the other shadow areas, but this is a great start. Next, we've got this drawing of this woman. And I think it's a great start. The skin colors you've chosen. I love the colors and the eyeshadow, the way that you've rendered the hair, the gloss of the lips. I think it's a really nice start. For improvements, she's just looking a bit oblong. And what this comes down to is just proportions. The problem with realism, if that's what you're trying to achieve, is that no matter how nice you render it, if the proportions are off, if one eye is here, it's never gonna look realistic. So what I want you to focus on is getting your proportions together. Again, look at the proportions video I talked about. It will really help you. I know side view isn't the easiest either, but improving the proportions will level up this drawing so much. Okay, now we've got this one and this is very, very nice. I think your proportions are great. You can instantly see the resemblance and I'm glad you've got the reference picture here as well. You, you're not scared with the deep dark shadows. It looks like you've used black and even looking at the reference, it looks very deliberate. I think it's a nice, nice, fantastic start. Now for improvements, you are missing some warmth in his skin. If you look at the reference and the harsh lighting they've got here, yours is just looking a little too pale. It's giving ash. So you're missing some yellows, some oranges, some browns that will really bring back the warmth in his skin. Also pay attention to the reflected highlight area, this to the side of the shadow. It's really difficult to explain and achieve, but in your drawing, it kind of just looks like he's got a hole in his face and all of a sudden that's the same background color. So you want it to still look like his skin. So to achieve that, you almost want to do the same technique you've done for the cheeks and then adding more reds on top of that rather than just coloring with red straight away. I really hope that makes sense, but this is a great start, so well done. Okay, we've got this one. If I squint, I can kind of see who this is meant to be. Okay, I'm glad you included the reference picture as well. But for this one, I could tell it's digital art. I think this is a nice start. I love the vibrancy and the colors that you've chosen for it. I love the bright blue background. I think it really makes the piece stand out. It's gonna be hard for me to critique this 
if I don't know what you're really going for. So if you're going for realism, then where are the blends, sis? You need to blend. You've got some highlight areas. You've got the mid tone and you've got the shadows, but it's just been placed there. To me, you can definitely go back with many more layers to improve this. And same with just paying attention to some of the details. So the earring needs to be nice and rounded. It looks to me like you might have done the background after, so you're kind of going around it. And if this is digital art, it should be easy enough to work in different layers where you can isolate different things. So for your next steps, work on your blending and just go back in with some detail and it will definitely level up. And now for this one, I love, love, love the colors. I love how cute this plushie is. I think you just captured the cuteness so well. For improvements, shadows. You probably saw it coming. You kind of kept to the pastel color scheme. I can see a little bit of, you know, a slightly darker blue, but I want you to go even deeper with the shadows. So shadows that will help define the creases even more, but also shadows like between the legs and where it attaches to the head, those shadows need to be deeper. And then also I think what would really help with a 3D look is the shadows for while it's seated on the page. So the shadows actually beneath the legs. I hope I'm making sense. Maybe I'll do a redrawing your art where I can actually draw over it so I can show you in the future. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments. But yes, I think that will really level up this drawing. And finally, and this is probably Dan's personal preference, but the sharpest, sharpest highlights that you can get with a white pen, I think it's just missing a tiny bit of that. And that's where I'm going to stop today. So shout out to you if your art was featured this time, but if it wasn't, I'm sure you'd have gotten some tips anyway. And keep using hashtag Terminators on Instagram and your art might be featured next time. Thanks for watching this one and I'm sure you enjoy any of the other videos in the Temi Trash Shokes Your Art series.